Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle, this is Pam. Uh, we're doing the first oil change on our brand new uh, 2022 FE350S. Uh, this is the one hour or two hour um, oil change. Is it? <laughs> is it? We might have run it a little longer than that. Don't, don't tell anybody. Uh, just a little bit though. Uh, but the dealer did tell us as long as it's in the first 10 hours, it's pretty much fine. So. We'll, we'll get that done today, and uh, this bike will be ready to go back out on the trails again. So stick around. Here we go. So this is the first time we've done this, so um, I'm going to remove the bash plate just to have a little more room to work and make sure I can get in there. I don't know at this point if you have to do that or not. I think you do, but I'm not completely confident. So uh, for the first time that I'm doing this, I'm gonna remove the flash plate now. I'm gonna do that before I warm up the bike so that I'm not burning myself on the exhaust. Um, it's a T30 Torx, it looks like. So far, just these two bolts. Yep, literally just two bolts. It's just cleaner to remove the bash plate because if you don't then you'll have some residual oil stuck in there and then it's just nasty that is a big hook there we go I guess you just pop it back it looks like you do have to take it off um, in yeah. order to access the drain plug so all right let's run this thing for a little while and so after we warmed up the bike we actually warmed it up for three minutes and we're draining it now so we're gonna loosen the bolt here this is a let's try a 13 millimeter yeah it's 13 yeah and there's one on the side too so one in the back and one in the side the spacer is gonna fall off as well you got it i believe so yep. kyle's cleaning the the drain bolt. You see that was that all that black there that was on the the magnet here. So actually check the odometer. We're doing this almost right on time. It's 34 miles uh, that we've put on the bike so far. So uh, we are right on with what the owner's manual suggests. So I have a 13 millimeter socket here this time, and we're just going to undo this bolt right there. Looks like there's a something in no, there. There's a oil, there's a filter screen. You have to pull it out with pliers. Some pair of needle noses here. Pull this bad boy out. See all that shaving? Wow, yeah. look at that. Nasty. Yeah. So we have to clean that out. Oh. Uh, it's not really draining. Put it back this way. I don't think it's gonna drain much, to be honest, because the other hole is what drains it. The other drain plug is the main drain. That's okay. just where the filter is. So, I, did you put it back on the kickstand? Yeah. Because I'm gonna go put ahead the bike and put it down. down. Yeah, put it down. There you go. So now it's just time to clean the filter screen. Oh, there it goes. So it is draining a little out of that hole. Okay, so we are cleaning the oil filter screen with brake cleaner. It. I guess you can also use kerosene if you want, but we have brake cleaner, so we're using that. We're using a toothbrush to get the bits out. So, so I'm ready to put the bolt back on now. I'm just going to dip my hand in fresh oil and kind of oil up the threads a little bit. Okay, so we've still got our 13 millimeter bolt. Just gonna tighten this up. Torque spec is 11.1 .1 foot pounds. Okay, so it's time to put the drain bolt back on, the main drain bolt, and he's just putting in some fresh oil on the threads. Okay, can you find it? It's right there. So unfortunately, 
there is no way to fit a regular torque wrench in there to tighten the main drain bolt so we have resorted to just hand tightening it for now with a 13 millimeter box wrench and at some point we will be ordering a what is it called pro foot adapter uh, basically what that means or what that that is is just a it's an adapter that plugs into the a box wrench up top so you can fit it in there and tight and tighten it that way we would be ordering that at some point but it, we have to be careful to not over tighten uh, this because it's an aluminum casing so now anyways moving on we would be taking off the filter on this side got a number eight here eight millimeter socket if you want to use a Torx you can we just want to use the socket because it's just easier and I just feel like it's less chance of you stripping there we go quite a lot coming out of there still get a needle nose plier in the owner's manual it showed them sort of yeah it's it's always it always looks easier there we go. <laughs> than really than what it really is. Force it in there. Yeah. Ooh, buddy, look at all those shavings. Shavings galore. Shavings galore. Look at that. Oh, well, that is trash. I don't know if that'll come off on the camera, but there are just shavings after shavings on that. Yeah. Trash. I would get a rag and uh, just wipe inside there. Yep. And then now's a good time to wipe everything off. So when you're done with that. You see all the uh, the spill like on the bottom here just clean the bike off because the next step is putting the bike on its side okay here is the part so this is actually the first time this bike's been dropped <laughs> so. yeah seriously <laughs> you have to lay the bike down for this part we put some tool, uh, towels down on the ground just to keep it nice because it has never been dropped before. So, Not yet. <laughs> so actually, uh, we're going to fill this one-third full, this little uh, cylinder here. Is that good? Yeah, it looks like a third full. Now drop the filter in there. So the rubber gasket goes on the bottom? Yeah. We got a K and n uh, six five two. Just get it to pop down in there. There we go. After cleaning the cover here, time to put a little bit of oil. Clean oil. There you go. Snaps into place there. Uh, seven point four eight millimeter socket on seven point four foot pounds. Holes go there, so it definitely is this little piece here. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> so you definitely have to, after you do the filter, this is the next step. Otherwise, you won't be able to put it back on if you stand the bike back up. Now we're just putting the bolts back in. There's only two bolts. When you are putting the skid plate back on, I suggest that you tighten them simultaneously and do not tighten one first then the other because otherwise you're going to have a hard time now it's time to put the bike back up forgot to grab the uh brake <laughs> brent tax would be so disappointed <laughs> so i'm just going to pop the oil cap off here um, so I think I'm going to have to hold this funnel like this while I pour in my measured oil. After you fill the, the main uh, engine casing with oil, with the one liter oil, 
it's gonna look like you've overfilled it because the side glass would look really full and this is why you have to start the bike afterwards and you have to run it for a minute so that the oil the new oil circulates throughout the engine and then afterwards when you look at the side glass again then it should be where uh, the right level is at which is basically around the middle so we're just gonna run it for a little bit stand the bike straight and you'll see the the side glass there that you should see half it should be half about half full or a little above doesn't matter but as long as you see an air bubble on the top you're good so I hope that you guys find this video helpful and informative there was a lot of quirks and kinks and all these little things that is not really shown in the owner's manual and something that you'll just have to find out when you actually do it yourself so uh, i hope you guys like this video and if you did please like and subscribe and we will see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching and ride safe <laughs> see Bye. you later